Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my newest video. Today is going to be a very, very normal, regular video. No hours long Moth Cycles episode that's two or three hours long. Just a chill video of me showing some of my moths to you because I've been breeding this winter and the first moths are coming out and this is a breeding project I've been working on for a while. This is the garden tiger moth or Arctiacaia. And these beautiful insects are one of the more common species of tiger moths that you can find in Europe. And if you make them angry like this, they will show you their beautiful red hind wings. This one is a bit more active. What's funny is these moths are slightly toxic, which is why they have warning coloration. But what's also really interesting is that each of them have unique individual markings. No moth is the same, and that's why we love breeding them. If you raise many of these dudes, you're going to end up with many unique individuals. Oops, and this one is a bit stressed. Maybe we should calm it down a little bit. Let's put you in a container and wait for a bit. While we observe the one that is calmer. Just look at these beauties. Wow. This is one of my favorite moths from my own country. Here's a fun fact. It's also found in the Netherlands where I live. There you go. And they're really simply amazing. You can feed them many types of plants. In captivity the caterpillars even eat lettuce, apples, but they really love the leaves of dandelions and of stinging nettles and so many more plants. Let's see if we can tease it a little bit. I'm going to poke it, sorry for that. Poke, poke, wow! Look at that! It's incredible! So here is the famous garden tiger moth, Arctiacaia. Super! Look at this color, look at the shape, the size. They are such beautiful animals. And for me they have a very high sentimental value. It was one of the first species of moths that I ever raised. I think I was like 18 years old. And this is one of the first species I successfully raised from egg to moth. And the, uh, what's funny is like these these um, these stains, I don't know what to call them in English, like this uh, pattern that they have, is completely different in each individual. It's kind of like a cow, it's completely randomized. And if you're super lucky, you can end up with individuals who have completely brown or completely white forewings. The, on the hind wings, the dots are also random, sometimes they even lack them. And overall, this is really just one incredible species. Now on my channel you can see a lot of silk moths from the Saturnidae family. But the tiger moths, the Arctinae, uh, are probably my second favorite. I love them, I love their variations. Their ecology is just so highly fascinating. I want to show you the other specimen as well, but it's absolutely going crazy right now. I think it's a good idea if we let them cool down for a second. Are you gone yet? Let's see if you are. Let's see if you are. So, ah, there we go. Let's see if we can show them both, maybe. They're not very cooperative. Ah, there you go. And what's really amazing about this species is they have like a red, red body, red legs, red wings and they have a temperament as you can see trying to flash their colors don't eat me I'm not very appetizing whoop well there you go beautiful no such an amazing creature And if you, I, I recommend these for beginners. They're really one of the nicest and most beautiful species to raise for any beginner. And in the future I want to make like a Moth Cycles episode. Showing people how to breed them. 
but due to time constraints I didn't but in the future I hopefully will so beautiful wow amazing little creatures wow I love them this is such a rewarding hobby they make me so happy look at them beautiful it's like art well that was Bart for today it's a bit awkward video not professional but I hope you enjoyed it anyway bye bye